right, so on we go. I've not selected low range because I want to maintain a, a good speed. I want to maintain about five miles an hour. If I went into low range, it might try to change the second gear at about three or four miles an hour. Um, at the moment, I don't think the, I don't think it's even coming up to the bottom of my bumper. So it's quite possible. I'll, I'll get through this with no problem at all. As long as I keep going through forwards, I'm not creating a, I'm not creating a big splash. I'm just maintaining steady progress, keeping the progress going. Doesn't make much of a photograph if it were ruffled, uh, ruffled forward. It wouldn't make much of a photograph. It wouldn't be very exciting. But uh, that's us. We're through that. Yeah, that guy there. He didn't know to trick the trick to take the air filter out, so he's killed his engine. Yeah. Right. Let's uh, proceed again. Oh. In second gear, I just need to select first gear because when you go across into sport, you automatically select second gear. This will be quite easy because, as I said before, um, the last flood I went through last night, um, the flood, the headlights were in the water. You open the bonnet on a BMW, this is the air filter, and what you can do with these prior to going through the flood, pull out the air filter, okay, put it on the passenger seat, drive through the flood, then put the air filter back in, because what that will mean is the water can come up to here and the air will go in here, the air will get go straight in the top of the air filter, in the air filter box, into the engine, it won't kill your engine. I don't know why he doesn't go out there. Faster than getting the bus to Nottingham, isn't it? Go to the other side of the tree, it'll be deep on the other side. It'll be deep on the other side, that's it. Yeah. See on a tree where it uh, was higher yesterday. I'm talking to the camera. Oh, I'm getting pushed off. I'm pushed on the grass there. Yeah. You know about crabbing, do you? You know about crabbing. So you point your bow into the into the fast flowing water and you'll crab across it. Right. He says he's gonna have a go at this. I would do it down at the reeds, because by then the water's it's deep enough to paddle, but it's also That's it. Point, point the bow up the way. That's it. That's it. Go across at 45 degrees. Don't paddle, don't paddle to go up the way, paddle to go across. More right paddle than left. That's it, you don't need much left paddle at all. That's it. That's it. There you go.
Trust me, I managed to get through there without holding on to anything. Was my son worried about me? Was he bollocks? Getting deeper now. Now, there's no excuse for not getting to work. It gets about ankle deep where he is, as you can see. He's scraping now. No, it's, it doesn't get much deeper over here, it's only that deep over here. This is where you're going to end up falling in. <laughs> 